Republican Senator Rick Scott got a little confused at who actually, uh, at, at who the authoritarians actually are. They want to control our lives. Woke government run schools. Woke government run health care. Woke government run media. Woke government run everything. In their new socialist America, everyone will obey and no one be allowed to complain. If you do speak up, boom, you're going to be canceled. Your views, if they don't conform to big tech or Fauci or Neil Young, you're going to be taken off of Spotify, YouTube, Facebook and Twitter. The modern left in America are the modern day version of book burners. Huh. OK, well, let me just start out by saying that everything that he just said is projection. Huh. Now, uh, look, it's Republicans that want to control women by outlawing abortions. After the court struck down Roe, for example, half the country banned abortion. Uh, and so, look, or, or, or they've moved to institute their own bans. The majority of Republicans also voted against contraception, not to make it free or anything, just to keep it legal for people to use contraception. They voted against the right of gay people to marry. Florida banned saying gay in schools and force teachers to out their LGBTQ students or get fired. They also banned critical race theory, which wasn't ever taught in K through 12 education, not just in Florida, but many other states that have targeted teachers and professors in order to get them fired. So you want to talk about cancel culture? That's cancel culture. <laughs> uh, they've also banned books about racism, sexism, LGBT themes, while calling teachers groomers. And talking about book burning. Oh, you want to talk about book burning? Okay. Uh, well, Tennessee literally had a book burning, had a, a right-wing pastor named Greg Locke. Burning things like Harry Potter. I mean, I, I wouldn't be opposed to burning Harry Potter because of J.K. Rowling. Uh, that said, <laughs> um, still generally a bad thing to be the book burners. I just wouldn't cry if the, the book was burned, just saying. They're chasing out uh, uh, librarians. For example, Fort Worth, uh, former Fort Worth, Texas librarian Sarah Chase told NBC News that she'd retired permanently due to the uptick in book banning fever. I'm no saint, she said. I got out because I was afraid to stand up to the attacks. I didn't want to get caught in somebody's snare. Who wants to be called a pornographer? Who wants to be accused of being a pedophile or reported to the police for putting a book in a kid's hand? Yeah, putting books in kids' hands, that's dangerous. But, you know, uh, put a gun in their hands is totally fine by Republicans. As long as, of course, you pointed at a black person or maybe cops, it, you know, as long as they're, like, defending the Capitol building or if you're, like, the Bundys, uh, federal agents. But, you know, hey, Republicans, they're authoritarians. They don't believe in limited government at all. When Rick Scott talks about small government, he means small government for corporations. He wants it so that private companies can do fraud and not be stopped because you won't have a government agency that is able to stop it. For example, like what he did to Medicare when he was CEO of Columbia HCA, they were fined $1.7 billion for Medicaid, uh, Medicare fraud. Hmm. But yet he says, the, uh, and all the Republican Party says, the waste, fraud, and abuse, that's, that's on you. You did that. No, bitch, you did that. That's who Rick Scott is. Okay, he's an authoritarian and just wants freedom for corporations, not for you. That's what they want. They want to control your life. They want to control what you read. They want to control what you see. That's why they have all these uh, Sinclair stations that they have bought up in local news. Uh, they want to control what you do, who you get married to, what you can do with your own body, while allowing corporations to basically do whatever the hell they want to you, steal your wages fire you without any reason whatsoever, crush your unions, your attempts to unionize with your workers or your fellow workers. That's who they are. And you know what we call that? Fascism. <laughs>